Hello everyone. We are back for episode 5 of Sprout Valley with our little friend Nico the cat who lives on the harbor island. If you haven't joined us before, we're just a little cat with a pet dinosaur <laughs> that follows us around. And uh, we've been building a farm here. Oh, it's honey gathering day. We'll gather some honeycombs here. Unfortunately, our pockets are full at the moment, so we can't pick those up yet. We're going to put something, one of these potatoes, into our little stove to get that started. But yeah, we, we have a little house. Oh yes, in the last episode... <laughs> we accidentally picked up our other oven and... We need to get it back where it's supposed to be. Um, let's see. Let's pick that up. I think we have to get out of range of it and then come back. Did I just pick up that pie again? Alright, let's drop the pie again. <laughs> this is turning into a mess. Okay, we've got our oven. We want to place it. So we'll choose it in our pocket and just put it down. Let's see if we can get it where we want it. It's a little tricky to get this cursor to do what we want. All right, so we've picked up our pie and I did not mean to drop it again. All right, we're going to go grab a tool. I'm going to grab our harvesting tool because I want to see if we can harvest these flowers that are growing on our island. Yes, we can. Okay, it just destroys it, I guess. So maybe they're just for decoration. We're going to actually bring our other stove up here so that they're both in the same place together. So we're going to, yeah, hit that stove. We're going to have to take some things out of our pockets. So let's send these berries over for now and we've been able to get some extra pocket space here. We'll send over the pears and we'll send over the strawberries and we'll go ahead and put our pies into the mailbox to be sold and we'll gather up the travel supplies that we ordered last time we played. All right, so now we've got our other stove. We've got our honeycombs. I want to put our other stove up here next to this one. There we go. Yeah. Now I want to test one more thing. We did try picking up this bridge before. Um, it doesn't seem like once you put the bridge down that you can pick it up again, even with the pickaxe. Okay. And I think I'm going to move our little beehive as well. But let's go ahead and put some more food into our stoves so that we can get our pockets a little more empty. We're always running out of pocket space. Oh, I'm sorry. We have to click on the... Stove. We have to click on the stove, but not with a pickaxe in our hand. Because that is what makes you pick it up. So we'll go back to tools, choose the hand. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are our pockets full again? Let's drop our little dish. We'll, we'll get the hang of this one day. All right, then we have to go out of our pockets, go back in. There we go. Okay, now with the hand equipped, we can go in and add food to our stoves to be cooked. And we should go ahead and water our crops as well. Okay, so a couple things about this game. Number one, I did notice in the last video that I uploaded, and I notice it when I'm playing too, but um, it it's a lot more apparent when you start watching the video. It, the screen gets very dark sometimes. When it's nighttime in the game or 
there is a, a cloudy day, for instance, it, it, the screen gets very dark. So I'm going to see what I can do this time about brightening that up a little bit. So I apologize for the last episode because I feel like the screen was dark a lot of the time. <laughs> Um, I don't know if we can turn this back into soil. There we go. Even with something growing on it. I didn't realize the soil could disappear with something growing on it. That's kind of interesting. Uh, we'll water that one too. And then go ahead and fill our watering can for next time. If we have a space in our pocket, which we do not currently, <laughs> Um, let's go put our two honeycombs in the stove. Oh wait! Oh no, we, we did more of the same thing. Okay. We really have to remember to change to the hand when we get to the stove. Uh, so that's one thing. Is the dark screen. So I apologize for that. I'm going to do my best to make that better going forward. And now I have forgotten what the other thing was. I'm sure it'll come to me at some point. I do want to try to start decorating our island a little bit. Or getting things at least a little more organized. I don't know if we can pick up like the well and move it. It doesn't seem like it. Um, I am going to take out some of these. I don't know what they do. We've got one of each across on the small part. And I'm going to leave those two in just in case they do something. But the rest of these, um, they're kind of in the way. So we're going to take those out. And we can put maybe a little table and chair up here or something. And we're going to turn all this down here into farmland. I think we can take our axe and get the bushes out of here. Oh, it's starting to get dark. Because we found out yesterday, or in the last episode I should say, that we are going to have to grow a lot of things. And we are going to have to make a lot of things because there's a machine that we need to build. And it requires a very lot of parts. So this lettuce was there hiding behind the tree. <laughs> um, so let's go take a look at that. Here's our little ghost down here. I wonder, can we water her flower? Did we try this last time? What happens if we water this one? Nothing. We're just throwing water on the floor. Okay. So each one of these crates has certain requirements and we have started to fill a few of them. But we have a long way to go. So there's little boards that say each one we need wood, sticks, planks, magic dust, um, gear apparatuses, stone, bricks or the iron ingots i guess it's not bricks yeah so we have got our work cut out for us we have got quite a bit to build okay i just remembered the other thing i was going to say and that is that i have been ending the episodes when i put nico to bed for the night but when he wakes up in the morning is when all the little uh upgrades and things happen so I think we're going to start trying to um, end the episodes after we get those upgrades in the morning so you can see what they are. Because we did actually upgrade a couple things uh, right after the end of the last one and I didn't get it recorded because I had just finished the episode. <laughs> um, but it did give us the ability to chop trees faster which I was going to try to find out if that means actually that it takes less hits to knock down a tree or if it means that we actually move faster doing it. So we're going to count. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. That cut it in half. 
It only took five hits to take down the tree instead of ten. So that's really going to help us out when we're gathering supplies. Uh, and we can't use the axe on that. We can only use the gardening tool on that. Oh, and Nico fell asleep again. I'm really bad for keeping him up too late. And sometimes that little pet does some strange things in his sleep. <laughs> okay. So, okay. I just noticed up in the top left corner, it shows you which tool you have equipped, which is really handy to know. All right, we're going to go into our book here. And we're going to order uh, another backpack expansion. And we're going to look at the seeds. I know that corn was one of the things that we needed for one of the crates in the basement. So we're going to order uh, six corn seeds. And then I think we're going to take Nico over to... Uh, another island to gather some more supplies. Let's see if we can get a couple more things out of our pocket. We have another lettuce. Oh. Um, let's get our hand. <laughs> Put some lettuce in here and our last potato to get them out of our pocket. And a lot of the rest of this is stuff we'll be gathering anyway and it stacks nicely. So we'll just hang on to it. And we can eat the meals. So it looks like um, our flowers are growing. And this one is actually ready. So before we go, let's grab this flower. Because I did want to see if we could plant it in Luna's little basement pots down here. She's got two empty flower pots. Uh, maybe we can give it to her as a gift. Nico, you scared me. Let's let's give her the flower as a gift. Oh, a gift for me? Really? Okay, well... She didn't seem to care about it all that much. Okay. Well... She made a happy face anyway. Okay, so I think the rest is okay. And we are carrying a few bridge pieces because last time we ended up going to an island where there was a second part very close. Ooh, we just got Seeker for traveling 15 times. Um, we could have gotten across if we'd have had some bridges with us. So we've been carrying a few bridges just in case that happens again. So let's see. Yeah, we can chop the trees in five now. That is awesome. That's going to save us a lot of energy. We'll be able to do a lot more gathering. And our pockets are already full. That's all right. We'll be able to empty them out here in a minute energy goes and we have to eat some more food. And we've got another thunderstorm with the big lightning. We need to work on uh, making it so the rocks break faster too. Let's see, we've got five common dishes. Ooh, we only have to eat about three to fill up our energy. Chop, chop, chop. Whoops. I don't think our little dinosaur friend likes the thunderstorm. <laughs> it's a little tricky sometimes getting that cursor in the right spot pick things up. All right, let's go for this other rock. Okay. 
Okay, those do seem to still take 20 hits to knock them down. All right, let's just quick check out the rest of this island. Make sure there's not somebody here selling. <laughs> I'm always swinging the axe. It's been a while since we got a new hat or anything, which we really don't have storage for stuff like that right now. I would love to find some sprinklers though for our crops. That would be great. We've seen them before and we didn't buy any at the time because we only had a few crops already and we didn't think it was that important at the time. But we sure would like to have some now that we're trying to plant more things. Come back through and collect all this. Can we get around this boulder? No, we cannot. I think I saw something up there. It might have just been a tree. Let's eat something. We've got two meals left and we'll eat some pears. All right, let's keep gathering. Get this rock out of the way so we can see what's up here. There we go. Okay, it's just more trees. More trees. Oh, is this actually, um, is it connected? Oh yeah, it's part of the same thing. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's get this apple tree. Oh, our little dinosaur is... Not happy again. We should be able to make quite a few supplies with all of this. And we have time to fill up the little, um, the little crates. They're not going anywhere, so we can. You know, we can still build a few fun things for the farm, too. Can't be all work and no play. Because we did get some mushrooms, and we have some cute little mushroom recipes we want to try. Uh-oh. Our little dinosaur is getting tired. Let's eat these blueberries. And these pears. All right, that gives us a little more energy. We're probably not gonna stay for too much longer. Let's see what time it is. Yeah, it's getting close to nine at night. So we wanna make sure that we have time to maybe craft a few things when we get back. So let's go ahead and call that done then. Whoops. Come on, Nico. All right, let's make sure we pick up everything we've knocked down here. Don't want to miss anything, as long as we've got pocket space. All right, let's head back. Oh, wow, look how big that fish was. We probably should have tried to catch that before we jumped in. Could have been a shark, who knows? Okay. Let's at least try to turn all of these logs into... Let's see, what do you need to make sticks? Planks to make sticks? That's interesting. Okay, stone columns. That's one of the new recipes that we got yesterday. And that looks really cute. Mostly for decoration. Oh, and we got a tiny library. Look at that, isn't it adorable? We definitely have to make one of those. But let's um, use up our logs here. Okay, we've crafted 500 items. So we might be getting some rewards in the morning. I do want to make some more of those lanterns too and put them around the farm. And those use stone. Uh, we got quite a few logs on this last adventure. Oh, 
Wow, quite a few. Look at all this magic dust we're getting. Wow. How many logs did we get? We might have to quit soon and finish crafting in the morning. Let's see. Alright, we got a little more time. Let's get back down there. I see that we can build a fence. I wonder... I wonder if there's a way to pick up the pieces of fence that we have already put down. The ones that just like came on the island. That would be super helpful. Okay, so all of that's done. Oh, whoops, I only made one. I always forget. There we go. Okay, we better get a, give up and get ourselves to bed. Did we sell anything yesterday? I don't remember. Uh, I think we did. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. These pop up like after Nico wakes up in the morning. So I want to make sure that we stay at the end of the episode to see what we've earned the day before. Okay, so we got plus one farming proficiency. A special action button for the hoe has increased range. And special action button for watering has increased range. Great. Oh, and looks like now we might be able to craft our own traveling supplies. Okay, level two crafting. Increase magic dust produce chance. Nice. And what is this? A little green mushroom looking thing and a, maybe a display case or something? Okay. And we've got something in the mailbox. Oh yes, more pocket space. We can always use that. We're gonna have to make some space in order to... Uh, we'll just sell these oranges. Let's grab this pocket space. And I, um, oh no, we put it back. <laughs> okay, we have to walk away from the mailbox in order to be able to activate that pocket space, which is hold down A. And then we've got room for all these planks. And so we should, okay, I think it filled up with the planks. Oh no, we do still have a space, all right. So let's grab these corn seeds and run up here and get something cooking. Um, what do we have the least of? What can we? Okay, let's do the strawberries first so we can empty empty that pocket space. And meanwhile, let's try out our increased range here. Let's see what that means. Well, first of all, this corn is done. So we're going to harvest it. Um, I'm not sure what the increased range is because it didn't seem like it reached any further. I wonder if we can order a second chest or maybe we got a crafting recipe for one. We should go look at our new crafting recipes too. I guess it won't hurt to have um, crops right here in front of the well. We're gonna go ahead and plant this corn that we got. Right here along the top. And that should let us pick up the corn that's there. Very good. Um, we, can, we can't pick up... Oh no, I did it again. You guys, seriously? <laughs> oh my goodness, I pick it up like every time. Okay, was that our stove? No. We need the stove. There we go. <laughs> I'll tell ya. Okay, we gotta remember to check our tool before we try to do this. <laughs> I'm doing a terrible job of that. Okay, let's get this last strawberry in there. That's gonna let us pick up this corn. 
And we need the corn for the basement, so we're not going to put that in here. We'll start putting the peaches in. Uh, we can pick up some of this, and we're going to go sell it. I think we're mostly going to spend today here on our island just trying to get some of this put in order. Um, let's sell the sandwich. And let's go down to the basement for a minute. and see what we can fill in. I don't know why she's doing a little... Is she crying? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, we'll put our planks in. And uh, we'll go ahead and put the magic dust that we have into this one. And then I think the one that needed the corn was over in this room. Is it this one? Yes. Okay, it needs corn, it needs carrots, eggplant looks like, pumpkins, wheat, quite a bit. And parsnips, we haven't even seen those yet. And red flowers. Alright, we've got quite a bit. I wonder if each little piece is going to appear on this machine as we get it um, done. If you guys know what a good gift for Luna would be, let me know. We gave her some magic dust one time and then we gave her a flower, but she didn't really seem too excited about either one. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know what to give her. Alright, we're gonna get rid of this guy. Sorry, little dude. I, don't, I just don't know what those are. Okay, we can pick up all this stuff. I was thinking we could move our little beehive up here. I'm actually gonna move these pumpkins. Um, and get these flowers out of the way. I can't pick up the pumpkins yet, and I can't pick up the beehive. <laughs> all right, what, what else can we make? Oh, we can make a bucket, a bucket to carry things such as liquids, interesting. Okay, it is a display case for displaying interesting things. Hmm. Well, it looks like we need to make some ingots, a frog parasol. And that, I guess, is mostly decorative as well. Let's make some ingots. Okay make a few more which we can't pick up evidently <laughs> oh a juice maker put ingredients in and get juice we need some sticks some ingots some magic dust okay I think we have to make planks to make sticks do we have any planks left in here no we do have mushrooms though oh my goodness okay Let's sell uh, this meal and the pies. Did we have any other cooked food? Yes, here's another pie. We're going to sell the fruit pie. That will let us pick up that stuff. And then we better go put some more... Oh my goodness. You guys, seriously. If I do that one more time... <laughs> Why can't I remember? Oh no, we didn't want to put it there. Now I gotta drop something. Okay. We're gonna get the hang of this. I promise we are. Okay, put that there. Put away the tool. <laughs> So, okay, so with some things in this game, it does, like, auto-choose the tool for you. Like, if you just walk up to a tree, it will bring up the axe, and you can start chopping. But with some things, <laughs> like when I walk up to this, it doesn't just automatically put the tool away, which would have been super helpful. <laughs> All right, we have another flower that we could try to give to Luna, but 
Uh, we're only allowed to give her one gift a day, and we've already given her one today, so we'll have to hang on to that for now. Where's a good place for our little pumpkins? Let's let's put them here. Um, it's kind of a little decorative thing in the garden. If I can get them in the right spot. There we go. Dum dum ta dum. Okay, we're still on the hands. We're almost used up the peaches. What else do we need to build another lantern? Maybe having some lanterns around would help it um, be a little brighter here at night. Okay, we need planks. And I think we put all the planks that we had into, <laughs> into the basement crates. So we'll have to We'll have to go chop some more logs somewhere, but not today. We do have one more travel kit. Didn't we say that we could uh, make our own now? What do we need to make one of those? Let's see, travel supplies. We need two apples and three corn, okay. Well, we're kind of using our corn for something else right now, so we'll probably just keep buying those. We definitely want to make some sticks, though, and planks, so that we can... Sometimes it seems like this waits for us to be on the screen before it finishes up. Oh, do we have another row of stuff up here? Yes, we do. Alright, let's put the apples in. And we'll gather those in the morning. We'll go stick the rest of these pies in the mailbox and then I think we better get Nico to bed. Uh, we might order a couple things first. So let's put our pies up. Get some money. And then... Whoops. <laughs> if we can get our cursor in the right spot. We will order some carrot seeds. And what else did it need? Some eggplant? Let's get six of each of those. That should keep us busy for a minute. Yeah, it's just about midnight anyway. Hey, we didn't faint this time. <laughs> All right, looks like we're gonna have a nice bright day today, which is helpful. Okay, so we sold all our stuff. We got 2,180, which puts our grand total at 3,077. And I think that we should go ahead and order another pocket space. It's getting more and more useful. Okay, here's our seeds. So we'll take those out of storage, out of the mailbox. And let's go plant some things. Let's just take a quick peek at the calendar. Okay, nothing going on. We are almost at the end of our first month. So it'll be interesting to see what happens when the month switches. All right, let's uh, get our little bumps here. And sorry, little doggy. We're taking you out of here. We need the space. Oh, can't do it right there. All right, let's see here. Carrots. Got six carrots. And then, oh, we're still on the... Oh, we got a little bit of clay there. And then our other seeds are eggplants. And we have planted some of those before.
All right, and since it's not raining, we do need to water all our little crops. And then we might have time to use our travel kit. And hopefully find a stall that is selling sprinklers. <laughs> that would be nice. I wonder what happens if we order like the backpack um, expansion and then we don't have enough money to pay for it when the uh, morning comes around. Because it doesn't take the money out right away. Like it didn't take it out when we put the order in. Uh, I forget what we planted here. I think those are eggplants too. And then the ones over here I believe are cauliflower. just pop in here whoops and order one more travel supply so we have one for tomorrow if we want it yes okay quick look around Yay, we have a stall. Please have a sprinkler. We have a chef hat, cat headphones, red flower seeds. Okay, we do need some red flower seeds. So let's buy those. I am so tempted by the cat headphones. They're even pink. Ooh. 610 though, we better not. <laughs> we'll see them again, I'm sure. I just, I have pink cat headphones in real life, and so <laughs> I was like, what? Perfect. Alright, I think that we need to concentrate on getting some wood today. Because we want to make some planks and sticks so that we can make some more lanterns and some of the other furniture that we were looking at. I wonder if we level up slower now too, since it only takes five hits to chop down a tree. Like, does it count hits or does it count the number of trees you chop down when it's counting uh, what levels you up? I guess this little person is a cat too. The market cat. Did she have a name? When we walked over here? It just says special things. Okay. I wonder if we can talk to her. Nope. It doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Ooh, we better eat something. Um, we'll just eat these apples. And the oranges. Hello? Oh, I gotta close my pockets. <laughs> I was like, why isn't it chopping the tree? We're gonna need a ton of supplies, really. Go grab these other pears. And we've got blackberries in our pockets now too. What else is up here? Not much. Oops. Doesn't matter how much pocket space we get, it fills up quick. Oh, <laughs> the, the rock is gone, friend. You can stop swinging now.
Okay, we can pick up peaches now. Let's grab this fiber. Oops. Well, I didn't I didn't mean to chop down the bush. Looked like chopping down the bush um, gave us some logs and some fiber. So that's good to know. And it is starting to get a little dark. So we are going to head on home. Um, whoops, I was trying to grab this one last rock. It's being difficult. We don't have a lot of energy left anyway. And we do want to try to cook and sell as many of our little uh, fruits and vegetables that we collect as we can. So that we can get money for more pocket expansion. Okay. Uh, I think what we have the least of right now is pears. So let's cook some pears. And let's go craft some planks and sticks. And it's a process because we have to start by breaking down the logs into... into... what is it? wood. Break down the logs into wood and then the wood into planks and then the planks into sticks apparently. <laughs> okay so I'm pushing the right arrow to scroll through that and I just tried it. You can't push the left arrow and just go to the biggest number. That would have been helpful. <laughs> Okay, we've only got a few more. Alright. Just how many... We need three planks and one stick. For the tiny library. There's plenty of planks. Alright, let's just do that with the sticks. Is it gonna let us pick them up? Nope. Alright. Is there something we can drop? Oh, you know what? We can plant these two uh, red flower seeds. Let's do that. Hopefully we're not about to faint. I don't think it's that late yet. Okay. There we go, we got our sticks. Whoops, okay. Now I think that we have enough to make the tiny library. Yes, we do. And we won't be able to pick that up either, probably. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go ahead and turn the rest of our wood into planks. We've got quite a bit, it seems. Alright, we better check the time. Yep, we gotta get to bed. Busy days! Okay, good night's sleep. Looks like we have another nice bright day. We don't have any pocket space to speak of, so we're not even looking at the mailbox yet. Let's finish making our planks. Wow, we really did get a lot of wood on that last one, didn't we? It just keeps going. Okay, now we're at the end. Alright, what else did we need to make the lantern? Planks, ingots, and it looks like we can make another one of those. And another one. 
We just can't pick them up yet. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna have three more and we'll have four around the island. That seems like a good number. Um, is there anything that we can put across to here? We can move the berries up. <laughs> that let us pick up the tiny library. Oh, we have strawberries up there too. And pears. Oh my goodness. Alright. Let's find a little spot for our tiny library. Uh, let's get our hand. And cook some more peaches. Um, maybe up here is a good spot for the tiny library. We could put a little chair with it. No, I think maybe we'll put it over here. We'll put it on this little part of the island. That'll be fun. And we can make a little bench to go with it or something. Um, I kind of want it... I want it to go in between there and it's not going to, is it? <laughs> Let's put it right here. That's cute. And now we can pick up some pies and put them in our mailbox. Which we need to check anyway. So we'll put the pies over and we will grab this pocket expansion. One more space in our pockets. Okay, and we can pick up our lanterns now too. And we're going to use the pickaxe to grab this one because we're, we're going to move it. So I think we'll put one here. Oh, it's not going to let us put it there? Is it because that toolbox is so close? Uh, let's put... We'll put one next to the beehive if we can get the cursor in the right spot. We'll put one... We don't want to block all our fishing spots. Um, can we? I don't think we can walk over it. Maybe we'll put one over here near the uh, tiny library. So you have some light to read by. And then... I really wanted to put one there and I think I only can't because of that toolbox. So, I'm gonna get rid of the toolbox. Oops, no, not crafting. No, not crafting. <laughs> oh no, am I not gonna be able to pick this up because I put it too close to the crafting table? Oh no. Okay, well, <laughs> so much for my great plan. Okay, we're on the pickaxe and we need the harvesting tool. Get this little thing out of the way. Okay, we can get that. Maybe we can put one of the lanterns here. Nope. We can put it on this spot. That might work. And then the last one. Where should it go? Let's put it here. Let's get our hand. Look, I'm remembering. <laughs> and we're gonna cook some more peaches. We're gonna keep cooking the peaches. Peaches was not something that we needed downstairs. Does this cauliflower look like it's done? Have we watered our crops today? Probably not. Oops. I was watering in the wrong spot. And these two at the bottom, those are our little flowers. Are we out of water yet? Not yet. Oh, our little dinosaur loves gardening. Alright, let's fill up our can. 
Really would have loved to have gotten some sprinklers. We do need to make sure we're selling some things today. Uh, so we do have some coins on hand if we if we see some of those sprinklers. They're usually selling multiples, so we want to be able to buy as many as we can. Let's get these peaches cooked up. Wonder what else we can do with the flour. Maybe just sell it. Or we could give this one to Luna too. Let's go give this one to Luna. Then we'll have room in our pockets for the pies that we're baking. The peach pies. Hey Luna. She's, uh, she's always crying. Alright, let's give her this other flower. A gift for me. made her happy, I think. Alright, let's go grab our pies and cook some more. We've got the hand out. We just have three more peaches. Oh, we've got two kinds of pies in our pocket. We're just gonna wait on this one. And then we might have something else in our pockets that we can bake too. Cook. Bake. All of the above. Alright, last peach. And what else have we got? Oh, maybe we don't have any more food with us. Oh yep, yeah, we've got some pears. Oh, I think it was pear pie was the other kind that we had in our pocket. Um, I was gonna grab those blueberries, but... Better not. Until we have some more pocket space. We don't want to fill it up too much. Let's just see what we need to make the mush chair. Four mushrooms and ten logs. Okay. Well, we used up most of our logs, but we might make one of those mush chairs when we come back. Because I think it would be really cute to put one over here by our tiny library. As a place to sit and read. Let's get some more of these pears in here. Cooking the pears. And we have one pear left. Oh, what time was it? That's what I was looking at. It's about 9 o'clock. <laughs> so we have a little bit of time. Just a little bit. Alright, here we go. Last pair. And we, I, we should have time to wait on that pie to come out. Maybe we can fish a little bit while we're waiting. Oh. Still not too good at the fishing thing. <laughs> um, whoops, let's switch back to our hand. Alright, let's uh, sell these pies. We should make a fair amount tomorrow. Oh, maybe those... Wait a minute. Oh, it just makes a fruit pie, I think. Well, what are those other ones then? Apple pie. Okay, apple pie is different than fruit pie, apparently. Good night, Nico. Two thousand four twenty. All right, that puts us over three thousand again. And again, I really think that we should just get another backpack expansion and one more travel supply. Okay, let's go chop some wood so we can make our little mush stool. And then we'll come back and water our plants. Here we go. Plenty of energy to start the morning. Gonna fill up our pockets again. 
Oh, we gotta get past this big rock. I like the little moss growing on top of it. The flowers. Let's see if there's anybody on this island. Anybody want to sell us a sprinkler? <laughs> no, I'm not seeing anyone. Wait, wait, wait. I spoke too soon. Here they are. What do you got? A cap with visor. Cucumber seeds. Brick oven. No, we don't need any of that. Well, apparently we need to <laughs> fill our watering can right this second. Can we even pick up these strawberries? Yes, we can. Okay. Just gonna gather all the supplies. Whoops. <laughs> I keep trying to grab stuff and that's not in the cursor and that is not working. Alright, do we have any pocket space available? We do have a little bit. Okay. Let's keep chopping trees. We're gonna have to eat some fruit soon. Like, right now. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, keep chopping. Gathering stone. All the things. Oh. Low on energy again. Well, the fruit definitely doesn't go as far as the cooked meals. Alright, we've got some pears. We'll eat those too. Okay, back to work. And when we run out of energy this time, we'll head back home. So we definitely have enough to make mush stool already. It's not gonna hurt us to have more supplies. Especially for that big machine in the basement. And when we had the meteor shower the other day, we never did find a star fruit, so I'm wondering if it doesn't fall or you don't find one until after you get the machine made. Or maybe we secretly have it in our pocket all this time. <laughs> all right. Nico, calm down, buddy. Can we pick up blueberries? Yes, we can. Strawberries? No. Pockets full. Oh, let's grab that one. Get the few more rocks here. We are gonna need a ton of stone. Alright, let's head back. We still have some uh, chores to do on our own islands. So we'll go straight to the crafting table and get these logs made into... Um, 
I keep forgetting wood. What it's called. It's nice that it lets you use up all of your logs. Sometimes, because of the number, you'll have like wood left over when you're making planks. But the logs you just use one at a time, so it just uses them all. So you can free up that pocket space, which is nice. Because we all know there's never enough pocket space. Alright, we've got wood. Do we have... Okay, we have an empty space, so let's grab our little mushrooms. Here we go. And we're going to make a mush chair. And then we'll check what it needs to make the juice maker, because it would be fun to make some juice too. Uh, we need three sticks. We can totally handle that. Three sticks. Great. So now we should be able to make that, right? We made a juice maker. All right. Now we just have to make some pocket space. Okay, we can um, put our mushroom back away. Put our mushrooms back away. And if we have any strawberries in our pocket, which we do not, but we do have pears. All right, let's put the pears up with the other pears. And we'll actually put this clay up with the other clay. That should open up some space. Okay, where can we put our juice maker? Um, how about right here? Uh, we don't want it too close to the stoves. We'll put it there. Okay. So we're on the hand. We can put an apple in it. Does it need more than one? Oh! It's like a little juice box. That's cute. <laughs> a little juice box. Alright, let's go place our mush chair. Uh, we'll put it right here across from the tiny library. Doesn't look like we can actually sit on it. <laughs> Maybe somebody can. Alright, there's our other juice. Let's put another apple in here. And what can we cook today? Um, you know what? Let's, let's actually cook these other two apples. And then we'll try an orange in the juice maker. See if we get a cute little orange juice box. Yes, we did! And some apple pies, too. Let's grab that. Alright, this will be another something we can make. And hopefully at some point we'll be able to put more than one in at a time and maybe we can now and I just haven't figured it out what else do we have oh we have some blueberries I wonder if those make juice uh, what time is it we got a little bit of time we have a little bit let's just go see if we can figure out a way to put more than one in at a time like if we hold it down, okay. If we hold it down, we can put all of the juices in there at once. And then I guess it just spits them out one at a time. So let's hold this down. Okay, no, it didn't do that, did it? Cause they're still in our pocket. Yeah, it still only took one. Never mind. Just kidding, we can still only do one at a time. <laughs> yeah, 
it, it definitely only is letting us do one at a time. Okay, and it's coming up on midnight, so we gotta get to bed. Let's put these last few orange juices in the mailbox. And... Oh, pff, fell asleep in the middle of the floor. Okay, and there it is. 990 for our juices. And... Doesn't look like we got any achievements today. And this is where I'm going to leave you again, folks. Um, we've been go playing for another hour. So thank you so much for joining me. I am loving this little game. I can see we're going to have some crops to harvest in the next episode. And uh, we'll continue Nico's adventure and work on building that machine in the basement. Thank you so much for watching. It would be lovely if you chose to subscribe. I would love it if you liked the video or left a comment for me. And I will see you in the next one. Have a beautiful day, everyone.